I hose the crap out of this thing. Okay, I'm going to try a long shot here. So I have Go ADF running on one of my partitions. I have a USB stick in. I also have my ADF uh, USB stick in, the one with all the actual, actual ADFs on it. This is my actual disc with my ADFs. And I have this uh, Go ADF disc right here. What I'm going to do is I want to make an actual floppy of it right here. But this floppy is giving me some crap. So I'm going to fix this floppy, and I'm going to show you how, and then we're going to write this. So what I need to do is I'm going to copy this uh, just to RAM right now. I'm just going to copy this uh, goadf.adf. It's a copy of my actual disk. So that's there, and I'm going to remove my USB drive. So here's my normal GoTech USB drive. And what I'm going to do is I launched Go ADF off of my uh, off of my programs directory and tools. I have it like right here. So I'm going to stick this on my desktop just by leaving it out. My desktop's getting sloppy on this. So here's Go ADF. I'm going to snapshot it here. Here's my empty floppy. Now I'm having an issue with this disk. This disk will not let me it's got a uh, well let me format it it's got some weird error we're gonna fix it with this this is a uh, hard drive magnet off of one of my old drives so I'm gonna take this and slide it around in a circle and it's sticking to the disc and the lip and then I'm gonna flip it to the other side and do the same thing this will come up as DF1 unreadable for sure but I bet you I'll be able to format it now so same disk zoom in okay so DF1 oops DF1 unreadable if you're wondering what this black window is that's my uh, 15 kilohertz so if I run something stupid I can see it popped up over there and I can quit it and then the HDMI will come back on so I'm going to format this disk, format disk. Awesome. So here we have a formatted disk, 837.9K, it's supposed to be 880, I don't care. So what I wanted to do is this, I want to run go ADF. It's just bitching, okay. So we're going to uh, go to my directory, which was just RAM. And here's the actual ADF file. We're going to double click on it. And there it is, uh, October 22nd, 2019. This is an older version. I'm going to write image to disk. And I'm going to choose DF1 and write disk. Okay, let's watch this and see how far it gets in the writing. Successfully written. All right, we're going to close. We're going to close. Okay, so now let's put the physical disk back in. It's the same one I just wrote. Now I have PC0 up here too for... Go ADF. I'm going to try running the program. It has this big icon, but I'm going to run this little one. I kept my key file in there. So it should pop up with my name. Come on, baby. It's 500k program, so it's a uh, thank you for severance. It's just my pre-directory where I had it. You can change this and save the path wherever you want. You can always just say RAM. Okay, and then you can save the uh, configuration. Configure directories. So remember last directory. Default, you know, it'll always look at the default directory of sys. Neat. And I can mount my disk. Oops. Double click, mount, off the floppy, there it is, 
mounted virtual disk cool even though I have it in there twice I have to unmount it because it's uh, back in can you see that okay so it should pop up right around here okay there she is let's make sure it still works go ADF opens up a second window I don't know why it's named it and it's in a subfolder too so we're actually gonna run oops run the little icon which is the actual executable floppies are slow thank you and then we're going to quit wait for it to finish its crap and eject it without messing up the disk so we've successfully repaired the disk and you've seen me use this disk before but I kept screwing it up and then it had all these write errors they are old and when's the last time you saw a BASF 2DD double density disk with an Amiga kit logo on it so that is going to become my go ADF I'm actually gonna write on it with a marker so I have it and I can put it in my collection of physical discs so thank you for watching and I hope you learned something